My name is Debbie Proven. I'm a registered dietitian. Um, I've been working as a dietitian for more than 10 years and I've been a Macmillan post holder since 2009. It can be quite difficult for people to eat a healthy balanced diet after a diagnosis of cancer. They can experience a range of problems from nausea and vomiting to diarrhea and constipation. Um, their appetite can be poor. People might have taste changes. Chemotherapy and radiotherapy can sometimes leave people with a very dry mouth or a very sore mouth. And also the actual cancer may have an impact on someone's ability to eat and drink. Um, sometimes the, the tumour itself can be in the gastrointestinal tract, so it affects someone's physical ability to swallow um, or to digest the food. And so they may find that they start to limit some of the foods that they're having in their diet and that can lead to missing nutrients which we need to somehow get back into the diet. And some people find it difficult to eat and drink at all and in certain circumstances it might be that any food is better than none. My name is Connor Lane, I'm from Ireland. I started treatment for a Ewing sarcoma, it was a bone cancer and soft tissue cancer. The eating problems I experienced during my treatment were taste changes. My appetite was not great. I lost a significant amount of weight in the beginning. I had the problem of getting the calories that I needed into me. And that was frustrating, especially on the days when you were just so tired and didn't want to eat. Dietitians are experts in assessing the food needs of people who are ill. They will often work with an individual to identify any additional needs that they have. If someone's lost weight, the dietitian would normally work with them to try and get as many calories into their diet as possible. What we often find is that they just need to focus on whatever they can eat, whatever they enjoy. And it may be that normal healthy eating guidelines go out the window. So it might be that we recommend some extra fats or some extra sugars into their diet. For example, we might say to add extra butter or cheese or cream into mashed potatoes. It's really just about getting as much energy as we possibly can from, from foods and fluids. When an individual is really struggling to eat and drink, if they're missing out on a lot of the nutrition that they would normally get from the diet, then it might be that we use a nutritional supplement to replace some of those nutrients. I first met the dietitian right before I started treatment. She was able to evaluate how many calories I might need all during treatment. The dietitian will try and plan it around you as an individual and I had told her that I wasn't the best eater so she gave me a prescription for calorie drinks. One of the most common problems that people face is a poor appetite and so we would often recommend that people eat small frequent meals throughout the day with extra snacks and nourishing drinks. Other common problems such as a sore mouth or a dry mouth, people might find that the best way to overcome that is to go for soft, moist foods, avoiding really spicy foods or acidic fruit-based um, drinks. Another common problem is nausea, and sometimes people find that cold foods are often a little bit better than hot foods. Find the foods you love and enjoy them while you can because that might change but it often is temporary. Listen to your dietitian because what they're ultimately trying to do is not worry about your figure, but worry about your, your body. Mm -hmm.